All right, cloudy, cool weather on this Wednesday. That trend certainly continues out there right now. And don't look for big changes even through the day tomorrow. I think the brighter changes, if you will, will get here by Friday, especially for a Friday afternoon. Right now, we're close to 60. Humidity is 83%, a west breeze in here, 5 to 10 miles per hour. The radar scan, looks like we have rain out there. That's not the case, just some false echoes around a good chunk of the viewing area. But with the low overcast, do know there could be, there could be some patchy drizzle as the night wears on. Nothing really all that widespread or heavy, but there will be that chance, you know, coming down on the windshield, not only overnight tonight, but through tomorrow morning. Certainly lots of low clouds across the region, kind of tucked into the Ohio Valley. And uh, I think this pattern is pretty much locked in, as I mentioned tonight and for tomorrow. Low temperatures, we're not going to budge all that much more. We'll be in the upper 50s from top to bottom across the viewing area. I think we'll bottom out around 57 in the metro bright early in the morning. And look at that. Boy, just widespread low clouds across all of the Ohio Valley. They will tend to thin out a little bit, especially off to the south. But by and large, much of our region, especially from near Louisville and points north, I think we're going to hold on to those things. And that's going to keep us cool. Those temperatures below average for your Thursday, as we'll see middle and upper 60s across a good chunk of Indiana through Louisville, and where there could be a few hints of sunshine in the afternoon, temperatures will bounce into the lower 70s in our southern communities. Hey, do keep in mind, though, a nice event starting tomorrow evening. It's the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. Uh, it kicks off at 7 o'clock in the evening and we'll go until about 11 o'clock. There's your forecast for the event. Looks great. We're talking about numbers of 66 at 7 down into the lower 60s by the time we push on into the 11 o'clock hour. So do be sure and check that one out. That's at Iroquois Park. And again, that kicks off tomorrow evening. All right, here's Friday's weather map. We could wake up to fog and low clouds, but watch what happens. There they go. They burn off just in time for the afternoon. Once that happens, those temperatures will jump into the upper 70s. And for the area high school football games Friday evening, wow, does it look great. Fred likes that. Talking about 77 for the kicks, kickoffs down into the upper 60s by the time the games wrap up. Here's the forecast. Overnight, upper 50s out there, cloudy and cool. There could be a spot or two of drizzle. We wake up to that scenario in the morning. We're 63 in the middle of the day, cloudy skies, and guys, we're going to hold on to those clouds, a high of just 68 for your Thursday. Some afternoon sunshine will boost us to 78 Friday. Eric, the pick of the weekend is Saturday with 83 bright sunshine, because even though we're going to be that warm again on Sunday, there's going to be a shower chance in the afternoon.